Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about Buskakioi, and I'm saying that wrong because I cannot pronounce Irish. Basically, it is the Irish word for music box, and this is a famous application from Terry Kavanaugh. It was created for Game Jam music creation, uh, and the thing is, it was written in Flash. Flash things are kind of slowly dying off, so with permission, this has actually been updated to modern day. So, I actually did a video on this guy like five years ago. It's a really cool uh, free tool for creating music in a very simple manner uh, and today we're going to be looking at an updated version of it but before we move on I'm going to show you the proper pronunciation I practiced this like 700 times and still can't get it if you're wondering how Boskakyoi is actually said it is said either this way Boskakyoi 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 or that way. Uh, so I'm going to keep calling it Buskakioi because I cannot do an Irish accent. Anyways, we are talking about it today because it is back. Buskakioi, the blue album, is now available. This is actually created by uh, Yuri Saizov. Now, that name actually might sound familiar. He was one of the uh, major contributors to uh, the Godot game engine. He was one of the maintainers behind it. And this is actually a Godot project. Now, this is uh, dubbed the Blue Album. So I'm assuming that uh, Yuri is a Weezer fan. But basically, this is an up update or a port of Buskakioi to uh, the Godot game engine. So what this is going to enable you to do is uh, continue development on it with a post-Flash world. And this was done with The Blessing, so it's a port and rework of the classic music-making app by Terry Kavanaugh. Uh, it has a playful nature and very easy to use, especially if you are not musically inclined. And I am not musically inclined. As many of you regulars will know, uh, I am horrible at music. So now, let me go ahead and make your ears bleed. Now, the very cool thing about this application is it is very easy to use. Basically, you have a timeline here. You'll notice the timeline is going at a set rate. So now it's 110 beats per minute. Each one of these is a note. You can see the scale of the note over here. And to draw said note, just click. And down here, we'll be in a lower scale. It's by default a grand piano. You can see that down here. And... So there is our track to start. Okay. So we got the beginnings of a, just a banger of a song here. Now obviously you may want to have additional songs going on here and you've got your arrangement over here. So you've got your initial music right there. What we're going to do is add in another instrument. By the way, uh, you can uh, pause your sound with the space bar. So if you don't want to keep listening to it, just hit space bar and it goes away. So what we're going to do is load up a new instrument here. Uh, so we've got a grand piano so far. Add a new instrument in. Uh, we pick the type here. So let's go ahead and make this uh, drum kit, simple drum kit. Okay, so now we have a simple drum kit. While we're here, we'll just do one more instrument. Sure, brass twin horns. All right, so we now have three instruments going. As you saw here, there are a number of instruments uh, available here. Uh, and then obviously there's a sub selection inside of each one. But again, whatever I make is going to be horribly painful anyways. So let's just get on with it. So now we're going to do is we have our initial arrangement. That is this guy right here. Now what we're going to do is add a second arrangement. And that is using the twin horn. We're going to switch that over to our drum kit. So this is our drum track. We will put it into our arrangement over here. And now literally select your arrangement. And we can start... Uh, All right, so there we now have a second arrangement going on. So we hit the space bar. Oh, a masterpiece. And finally, we have our one other track here. We'll go ahead and add that in. It is our twin horn. I uh, would go down here again. Let's do our composition and we'll just go. There. All right, so now we have our uh, three tracks in place. We're going to just drop that last track in here, like so. Uh, and now we have our masterful music composition. Honestly, by my standards, it's actually pretty good. Uh, so then when you're done, you got other options here. So if we want to do with this particular track, so right now I have grand pan piano selected. Uh, we could change out the way it works. We could add in an effect such as a, uh, a reverb filter, change the amount of reverb over here, and now we'll go ahead and play it. 
So uh, you've got, again, some special effects available as well. And then when you are done and you are happy with your arrangement, well, it is time to export things out. Basically, come on up here. Uh, you have a couple of options here. So you could go ahead, you could save your scene. Uh, so you could actually open this project back up later on. Or what you're probably going to do is go ahead and export this out. You have a number of options. Wave and MIDI are probably going to be the two most common, but you can also export as MML and XM. Now, Wave is pretty much universally supported by just about everything and just records it out as a waveform. Uh, MIDI is, again, uh, an instrumental track. Uh, you could bring this into another DAW uh, and completely change the, the instruments being used or whatever you wish. Uh, and a decent number of game engines also support MIDI as well. And that is uh, Bosca Kjol, however the hell you say it. Uh, this is, again, the Blue Album. It is basically identical to the original uh, Bosca, whatever. Uh, it's just this one is updated, written in Godot, and has some new features. Well, what are those new features? Well, one of them is this. And this seems like a very little thing, but the original uh, application was infamous for this. You click something and go ahead, and your project would just be gone. Just poof gone. Now uh, you get a prompt before you quit, which is also a nice thing. Uh, we got other changes here as well. Uh, so in terms of features, it features a, a pattern-based synchronizer, sequenizer, sequencer, duh, uh, compositor, uh, built out, uh, build patterns out of notes, uh, build your songs out of patterns, choose over 300 instruments, range your tunes across six polyphonic channels, pick a scale and a key if you want, and then you are ready, export it to Wave or MIDI, share with your world. It's great for game jams. So what is new here? Well, Mac OS support is back, uh, so you can run this thing on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, binaries are available for all of those, by the way, up on itch.io. Um, so there is some testing required there, uh, but uh, confirmation dialogues when you uh, leave things, again, I illustrated that earlier on, that was one of the biggest missing features for the original app. When you just left, you, whatever you're working on was gone. So if you, if you close it down by accident, no prompt to save, no nothing like that. There is now there. Uh, there is now a new time track in the arrangement editor, help you tune your songs to the exact length that you wish. Uh, and then exporting, all exporters and importers have been rewritten from scratch. Uh, well, every external format is lossy and cannot exactly replicate the structure of a Bosque Kill sound. Uh, in an improvement, output can be expected for MIDI, MML, and XM outputs. Uh, and the advanced instrumentation tuning feature is now more obvious and features an additional visualization layer to inform you about the progression of recorded values. There is still room for it to grow, but this already start on the path to make it uh, more user-friendly. And uh, you can delete patterns now, uh, just like you could delete instruments before, keeping your creative chaos orderly since 2024. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is available free up on HIO. Basically, you just come on in here, say you want to download it, pick which version you want. You'll notice again, there are binaries for Mac, Linux, Windows, in both 32 and 64 bit format. Also, this is an open source project. Uh, it is available under the uh, MIT license. Uh, and again, it's a Godot project. So if you've ever used Godot before, you will be uh, immediately at home. It's written using, again, uh, GD script, uh, I think entirely. Yeah, 100% GD script. And uh, now the interesting thing about that is since this is uh, a fully Godot project, uh, you can make a web version of this or an Android version of this just by, you know, installing the templates and building it for those platforms. I don't know if there'd be any user interface issues, but uh, yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a reboot. This is Baskikyo Blue. Uh, and again, uh, from Yuri Saizov, uh, MIT licensed. If you like it, give it a, a star up on GitHub. Uh, it is, uh, again, an update of a classic, the classic that was written in Flash. And let's just say Flash is kind of, you know, dying. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. A, a, an updated version, Bosque Kjol, or... Uh, Bosque Kjol. Bosque Kjol. Anyways, it's that. Uh, available uh, for free, GitHub and itch.io. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Check it out. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.